Hello everyone, what's going on? My name is Clean Phil or Zach. And welcome back to Link SMP. Some more fun Link SMP action. Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys have been enjoying the Link series. It's been really fun making it. Uh, I've been getting seeing all the feedback, and like I've seen, I've been seeing a ton more comics and lights on the videos. So I really hope I'm glad you guys enjoy it. But that doesn't mean like you know UHCs, SGs, and other series stuff is not going to stop. Uh, we're going to get Forest Heart finished soon enough, as well as Stranded, and so some Hunger Games stuff is coming soon as well. So just want to let you guys know. I've just been really having a ton of fun playing this. It's just been really relaxing. Um, so yeah, we're starting out in ZFC today because I want to show you something. So as you can see, we got a lot of food here. I mean, uh, we, we've been pretty set. We've been, oh, look at that. We got another payment. Basically, the initial onslaught of literally having to restock my shop at least like three whole times over uh, is kind of over. Now we're at a low point. People are just kind of buying as they please. But what's actually interesting is that while this is called ZFC, the food that takes the slowest amount of time to get is the chicken. Because if you think about it, I mean, while steak is technically lower, only at three stacks, uh, I recently went to this shop like two hours ago and actually had three stacks. And uh, I got like four more gold blocks. So people have been buying three stacks of steak. So overall in the end is actually the chicken that takes the longest amount of time to stock up which actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it right because i mean sheep cows and pigs they all have their giant farms where i can just massively breed and um, fill out as i need just when i want to go in with my looting two sword and fire aspect two and just kind of go in and kill some mobs and get a few couple stacks out of them and start breeding them again it's this very simple process that in about a day i could well, a day of just kind of overall as like a few hours of just going back and forth, I can get pretty filled up on all the food, except for the chicken. That takes a while. So how do we fix this? I hope you guys have been enjoying the house uh, recently though. I mean, can you tell? I mean, the bamboo looks nice. All the iron golems doing awesome. I'm hoping we get upgraded to 1.14.4 soon. Uh, it's not as of time this video, but it has some villager AI changes, which is really nice. I mean, can you freaking see these guys? Like, they need to stop doing this. You okay? Oh my gosh, okay. Also, zombie sieges, like, will stop spawning with the torches. I, just, I really need this update whenever they can. Also, some um, multiplayer adjustments. Uh, which maybe makes for some better stuff. But for now, we're stuck in 1.1443. Now, if you look at here, we have chicken farm two. That's right, we're gonna make a second chicken farm. Well, maybe not a second chicken farm, but a second version of my chicken farm. And this is not going to be the classic, just let them grow up and then die to lava. While this is very nice, I have been getting a ton of raw chicken as well as just, it's been kind of slow. So, what did they add to 1.14 by 4, or not 1.4, specifically 1.14, that allowed the speed of this to accelerate the growth of these chickens. And that is with a fox. As you know, well, you may not know, because foxes were actually a pretty, like, out of the blue update. They just kind of came in and people were like, uh, what? So yeah, foxes are a very rare mob, but they're very useful. Once you tame them, you can actually um, have them hold items for you. They will steal an item, essentially. What I can use that for is if I were to give the fox a sword like this. Not exactly like this, it won't be this sword, but a sword with fire aspect two, looting three, sharpness. It'll essentially create so much more chicken that I think it might be overkill. But I think we have to do it. Well, I, I did see a tutorial video on this and it, they seem to make it work perfectly. I'm very scared that it probably won't work, but I'm willing to give this a shot. I honestly am. So we're going to go out and get this farm done. Now we're gonna need two steps for this. First, we're gonna need a fox, obviously, and then we're gonna need a bunch of chickens to re 
hatch all that. But first step, we need a fox. So let's gear up and get a fox ready. So I don't actually know how you tame a fox. I believe it's with berries. Now I have berries. I do have a few berries. So I'll bring berries, uh, as well as leads, as well as a bit of food, uh, just in case I'm going to grab a ton of wood, as well as iron. I don't know. We're going to go out into the wilderness, so we're going to need some stuff, as well as coal. Let's bring some coal with me. We don't need diamonds, do we? Uh, you'd be like, oh, where'd all your diamonds go? They're in here, if you didn't see. Boom, a stack of all these blocks. <laughs> Stack of diamonds. Now that's something, isn't it? All right, a fox. Foxes are the craziest mob in Minecraft. I, I think I can confirm that. So the thing, the thing with foxes, how they work is that they will beat their eye, beat like straight toward any chicken or bunny that is in their path, and they'll destroy it because they are lethal. Um, they are very hyper animals, especially in this game. So we got to be very careful with how we deal with them. But I think if we get a lead, do a little bit of taming with the berries, we should be okay. So, step one of two, well not, you know, step one, go out and find myself a box. Now, I've done a lot of exploring. Oh man, there's a sugar cane missing here. Can I borrow you? Thank you. <laughs> now, I've done a bunch of exploring and there's basically nothing north. Kind of sad. Um, it's upsetting to see that, but um, there is another place where a taiga could be near. Ah, yes. Much better. <laughs> I don't know if I've put this, uh, if I've uh, shown this on camera, but this is the ice spikes biome that I discovered in my exploration um, and my fun travels um, with trying to find some fun stuff like the mesa biome, which we did end up finding anyway. Uh, thanks to some people who didn't want to give up any coordinates to it. Gosh dang it. Anyways, yeah, so we're in the ice bikes biome, so hopefully this is going to be a lot better um, chances to get myself to where I need to be. <clears throat> Which is around these trees, but in a mass quantity, not just like one or two. So, um, looks like we're going to have to just head around this snow biome and hope this hopefully we'll find what we're looking for. All right, well, it's not a fox, but look, it's a polar bear. He's got a kid, they've got a kid though, so I think he'll probably be hostile towards me. I believe that's how that works. I'm just gonna ignore him. You all have a good rest of your day, Mr. Polar Bear. I'm gonna be heading out, and which way am I going? I'm heading eastward, so the portal is west. That's how I know I can get myself home that way. Hey, more polar bears. Look at you go. That's pretty epic. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. This has got to be it. Yes. A normal taiga biome. All right. The hunt begins. Chickens. Now we got to wait. Now we got to see if there's a fox around who wants to pounce on him. I thought that was it. <laughs> The brown mushroom, yes, exactly what I was looking for. So, oh, we got some more berries here too. I'll take more berries, honestly. So I think we could use some. Oh, there it is. Get the frick out of your zombies. This is important. Yes, here we go, here we go, here we go. this is it. Oh, look at them. Is that two? It is two, okay. Let's see if we can get them to... All right, hold on, get some... We come in peace, foxes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Just gotta sneak up, give them a little bit of a... Give it a bit. Want some berries? No, that's not what I wanted. No, oh, dang it, okay. I just wanna get berries. I mean, this guy's stuck. Berries? Yeah, I'll help you. Okay. That's one. Now we, now we just need to get the other one. Yes. Do I have to lead you guys? Like the... Oh my gosh. Why you do this? Oh my gosh. Ah, there it is. Lead you. I must lead you. Give me... 
Okay. Oh, you're holding chicken. All right, come on. Come on, we gotta re reunite with your buddy. All right, I'll pick this up for you. I'll pick this up. Oh, you wanna go after this chicken? Okay. Oh my, cause you see him pounce like that? All right, watch this. Go. So see, these guys hate chickens. They will gladly, oh, why did you eat that? Now you have salmonella. All right, come on, little Mr. Mr. Fox. Little Foxy, we gotta get your buddy. Come on, this is important. She's a feisty one, that's for sure. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Berries. Berries. And then you berry. Right? Oh, oh. Okay. Ah, oh, my gosh. It's such a pain. <laughs> There it is. Okay, we found it. Whoo, buddy. All right, so where we are at pretty much X is about 4,000. Y is about, can we stop? Can we stop going after the bunny, please? There we go. He's gone. Actually, a rabbit's foot. I'll take that. That's pretty rare. Okay, let's go through the portal. I don't know, hopefully you can. Oh, creeper. Okay, let's see if you can head your way through the portal. All right, you're in. Ah, yes, let's go. <laughs> you're already, you're, you're already like, let's go. Me and Fox Boy. Running through the portal at the speed of sound. This was a long, grueling uh, adventure. All right, so you need to go through the portal, my man. Can you go through? Thank you. Oh, 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 this way. All right, the button. Yes, okay. Who, buddy? We. Our home. Novelty, got a nice little buddy. I don't think foxes hate horses. Do you guys, you guys chill? You guys are chill. All right. You go there. All righty. Right, would you like a berry? Here, have a berry. There we go. Okay. A fox should stay. I mean, I've put fences around most of this stuff, so yeah. Um,. I think what I'm just gonna essentially be doing is just kind of rebuilding the chicken farm. Maybe I'll build it here this time, the second version. I think I'll probably be a good idea. So if I set up, but yeah. So um, essentially, I'll just be rebuilding this whole structure. And so uh, I think there's a tutorial online. I'll show you those the basic setup premise of this, except there's only, there's no lava. Instead, it's a little fox behind my horse. Um, and then it'll be as simple as just, um, the fox will just be in a one by one hole right next to the chickens where the, they spawn. And then um, they will be uh, murderized and I will be given there a chicken for lovely, lovely stuff. So yeah. I'll figure out a name if you want to think a name for my first fox, put in the comments. By the next episode, hopefully I'll have another friend. And so if I ever need an extra fox or two, I could uh, get them a little, a little breeding. Um, you know? Oh my gosh, he's stuck again. This villager always gets stuck at this, not, at, not anywhere. This one specific piece of bamboo, he always gets stuck at. You're, you're unbelievable to deal with. You know that. All right, everybody. What a roller coaster adventure. And when you see me next time, uh, hopefully I'll have that second chicken farm all ready to go. Because all I really needed was the box. Now what I'll be doing off camera is getting a um, big sword that he will be able to hold in his mouth. It may make it just iron but it'll have looting two or looting three, hopefully. I have one of my uh, librarians sells a looting two book for like eight emeralds, it's super cheap. Is it you? Nope. Uh, 
Yes, my looting too for seven emeralds. That's freaking. You're a steal, dude. That's a, that's a steal. Alrighty, boys. Um, but yeah, so then he'll hold in his mouth, and then the chickens will be murderized by him. He's so cute, though. So it's kind of alright. Alrighty, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know by leaving a like down below. As well as consider if you uh, really enjoyed it, you consider subscribing and check out more episodes of Link SP down in the description below. Uh, this was a really fun one, an adventure. Um, that's it from me, my horse novelty, my new little fox. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.